Hurricane Helene could going to make its closest approach during the day on Thursday to our area. What impacts can Flagler County anticipate from the storm today? Flagler County Emergency Management Director Jonathan Lord. Most likely, we're going to see potentially tidal flooding of about one to three feet above normal, maybe some slightly higher in some certain spots. Emergency Management Director Lord says tornadoes are a possibility. We are also under a slight risk for tornadoes throughout the day, but primarily after midnight Thursday night. During the day, we expect to see winds of about 30 to 35 miles an hour sustained, as well as during the evening. Um, Also along with that, that we can expect tropical storm force level gusts, and they may be frequent at times. Inland as high as a 40 mile an hour range, and along the coast as high as a 50 mile an hour range. So definitely be aware of those potential wind impacts. Jonathan Lord says we might not get as much rain as you think. We're most likely going to see about two to three inches of rain. Obviously, we may have a storm, a band or cloud that goes through that dumps more than that in certain areas, but on average, about two to three inches. At this point in time, we are not expected to open up any shelters. However, we do have a shelter team and a facility on standby should we need to use it. Flagler Schools decided to cancel classes today. Flagler Schools Superintendent Lashaka Moore. We've been in close communication with Flagler County Emergency Management this week in regards to the latest involving Hurricane Helene. Out of precaution, we've made the decision to close schools and cancel all school-related activities for Thursday, September 26. The safety of our students, faculty, staff, and families is always our top priority. Please be safe. Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Thursday, September 26th. I am excited about the opportunity for District 4 to have opened. I think I always looked at public service as an opportunity. When I saw this position up, I said I can serve the community in another capacity on the council. A vacant seat on the Palm Coast City Council will soon be filled by one of 11 candidates vying for the seat. Today, you'll hear from two more of them. 44-year-old Meredith Rodriguez worked for the Flagler County Chamber of Commerce nearly 20 years ago. The opportunity to get to know many business leaders, owners, and elected officials, and much exposure to the influence that a chamber could have on the community, and at that time it was very influential. So it's a great experience. I graduated from Leadership Flagler through that um, as a staff member alongside our members. So since then I've had several jobs serving in a communications role, and now am working for a land developer here in Flagler County. I have been with them for six years, have had the incredible opportunity to learn what smart growth and development looks like. 41-year-old Ronald Nakabali has lived in Palm Coast nine years. I'm a civil engineer from there. My degree is from Uganda. Originally, I'm from Uganda. I became a citizen in 2019. I have lived in Palm Coast since 2015. I have an experience with engineering. I had a company in Africa. I have been community coaching soccer, refing soccer in Palm Coast, FPC, Matanzi, Foida Elite. Tomorrow, we'll hear from two more candidates. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Daryl Newt. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. A 12-year-old is arrested for threatening violence at Buddy Taylor Middle School. On Monday, a 12-year-old girl was arrested after texting her boyfriend a violent threat, saying she would bring a knife to school if he didn't get back together with her. The incident was reported to the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, and the homeschooled student was charged with written electronic threat to kill or cause bodily harm. This arrest follows a similar case just a week earlier, when a 13-year-old girl was arrested for making a school shooting threat at Buddy Taylor Middle School. Sheriff Rick Staley emphasized a zero-tolerance policy for such threats and had a familiar message for parents. Parents, I ask you to be the sheriff in your home so we don't have to be the sheriff of your kid. Teach them how to handle disagreements and disputes. It will help them for a lifetime. It will keep them from getting arrested. What is recovery like? If you're recovering from substance abuse, Rob Arrett, a 20-year veteran with Flagler County Fire Rescue and paramedicine, said recovery and paramedicine have things in common. Everybody's journey in recovery is their own journey. It's not defined by what others have done or, or what I'm being told should be done. It's your own journey. It's the same way when you're dealing with paramedicine, period. You know, everybody's body is different. They react differently to different different medications. Eric said that people have to figure out for themselves what the best way to recovery is, the same way they have to figure out what the best route of medicine is. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.